NASA announcing another major milestone overnight for its historic Mars lander. The solar panels on the InSight spacecraft opened without a hitch, like in this animation after the lander touched down. InSight can now recharge its own batteries. This newly released photo shows InSight in the Martian landscape. Jamie Ucas is in the control room at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. A lot of people were cheering yesterday, and rightly so. Good morning. This is the place where tensions were highest on Monday as InSight traveled through Mars's atmosphere to a safe landing. So far, the billion dollar project has paid off. NASA says the lander will teach us about the red planet, mapping a course for future, even more ambitious missions. Touchdown confirmed. <laughs> The celebrations inside the Jet Propulsion Lab control room were echoed at watch parties across the country, from New York's Times Square to Texas to Los Angeles. In six and a half make-or-break minutes, InSight entered the Martian atmosphere at more than 12,000 miles per hour, heating to some 2,700 degrees before softly touching down and sending back its first photo. To see that that payoff finally happened, for every one of them, it's amazing. You can't get a better feeling than that. Do you get a couple days of rest now, or what happens? No, there's no rest. There's no rest at all. In the coming days, scientists will use InSight's cameras to find the best locations to place the spacecraft's main tools, a seismometer to measure the planet's internal activity, and a heat probe to take its temperature. What role will InSight play in humans getting to Mars? InSight is going to give us um, visibility into asteroid impacts on Mars. So we'll know uh, when it's safe to go to Mars and where on Mars our astronauts should go to be safe. NASA is just one player in this new space race. SpaceX is among a number of companies hoping to launch manned missions to Mars. Founder Elon Musk plans a cargo mission by 2022, followed by a manned Mars space flight two years later. What I really want to try to uh, achieve here is to make Mars seem possible, uh, make it seem as though it's something that we can do in our lifetimes. Musk's timeline is more ambitious than NASA's, which wants to send humans to Mars by the 2030s. NASA says humans would have to live on the red planet for two years, the time it takes the planets to align for a return. That's why they want to use the moon first as a proving ground before sending anyone to Mars. Gail? All right. Jamie Yukas reporting. Thank you very much. You know what's so cool about that story, in addition to the success of it all, is to see the NASA engineers, because normally you think of them as very uptight and buttoned up people. Yeah. The couple I've met have been uptight and buttoned up. But it shows that they have a great sense of humor and really take pride in enjoying their work. I love the little dancing and the handshake. Well, their hard was, work paying off. Yeah, and when you look at how hard it was to get it there, yeah. you can see why they were, did, you know, jumping out of their seats. Success, a good thing.